since my first day here in the city I live in since yeah, something about four years, which called Dilich uh, in Saxony. I have uh, always tried to search for new interesting forests or rivers or lakes or something like that uh, using Google Maps. And I have always seen in Facebook or Instagram yeah, a lot, a lot of beautiful photos about a lake, uh, a big lake called the Verbe, Verbe I think Verbe Linear Z. So I decided to go there, yeah, and check it myself. Uh, yeah, that's why I search for it in Google Maps and also in Google Photos, yeah, to have a small idea about the lake uh, and a small idea how to take, yeah, how I can take photos there and how I can also go there. So I found that uh, it will, yeah, take me something about 26 minutes uh, with my bike, only with my bike, without public transport or something like that. Or I can, yeah, only, uh, yeah, only drive my bike for 12 minutes, yeah, if I take the train to a place called Chortau. So I prepared myself and, yeah, you know, just wanted to make sure that all my gears are ready and clean, yeah, to make this small trip, uh, because I don't want to go back home, yeah, without photos if I forgot something. Uh, so I took the train to Chortau and after that I yeah, started to drive my bike. Uh, I drive my bike for something about 15 minutes, something like that. Uh, yeah, and to reach finally this calm, beautiful lake. right onto B184, then turn left onto Katters Neuendorf for Strasse. Still five minutes. So, hello everyone. I made it finally to the Verblinier there. Yeah, now, yeah, now the most difficult part to, yeah, find something special, trying to find something special and, yeah, not only, yeah, just a photo for a lake like this. <laughs> yeah, I have to find a foreground or I have to make a foreground, to make a foreground for me. So, let's, yeah, let's try and see what I can find. I have to try to find a foreground something like that for example or yeah you know just to have a foreground with this yeah with this lake or i have to go to other location and try to find um, where there's big rocks for example here So this is the photo I'm trying to take here, but yeah, I, I'm not really happy because yeah, the tree, uh, this tree is so near the lens, or I mean, it's near the, the strand here. Yeah, I will let you see how I will yeah, make it. So what I'm going to do now is, yeah, like always focus stacking. Yeah, the first photo I will focus here at the beginning of the tree. And I will take the, another photo focusing here at the end of the tree. And the last photo I will focus to infinity or the end of the lake. So 
So this is the first photo after merging the three photos together and I am really so glad that I just did take another photo and yeah not only rely on this photo because I don't I don't find it find it amazing or I mean I don't find it good enough to be yeah the photo of this trip. So this is another photo I'm trying to take here but I really want this time to make it as a panorama and you may ask me why because because yeah as you can see here as you can see right here because as you can see right here yeah the tree is not only one uh, not only one branch like like that branch like that branch here and this is two branch and if I if I made the photo like this, I will not have a lot of yeah space between this two uh, uh, from the yeah the, from the frame from the left and from the right. I will not yeah have a lot of uh, a lot of free space or yeah space for the eye to to release. So yeah, and I can go a little bit to the yeah backward, but I want to be so close to the tree. So I think like this would be so good. So what I will do So what I will do I will take the first photo right here. I will go down more than more than the space I need so that I will have freedom in the cropping and I can yeah make the composition like yeah like what I want. I always yeah, try to have more space in the panorama, more space than I need, I really need. So that helped me with the merging the photo and with the crop. So let's try to take this first photo and I will focus here, exactly here like always in the foreground, on the foreground. So just be sure that the polarizer is correctly. So the first photo I will focus as I said here on the beginning of the branch. I will try to make the photo so fast because yeah I want to have this I want to have this small ducks in the photo yeah it's amazing yeah very good So now I will try to take last photo, which is like here, and the focus would be to infinity or yeah at the end of the lake. I will take the photo again so just to be sure that everything is sharp and yeah maybe in the first photo yeah the branch of the tree would be a little bit moving because yeah because of the movement of the water so I will take more than one photo for the sky because yeah there's a, yeah there's a big difference between the uh, the place here 
the exposure on the place here or the, the light on the place here and yeah the sky would be overexposed so that if the sky would overexposed I will blend the photos together and yeah I will take the photo of the sky just to make sure that the, I have information in the uh, clouds and not just only white area. Yeah, but I think I, I made two photos. I, I, I think I like the second photo more because yeah, the branch of the tree was yeah, bigger and uh, the composition, I think the composition was, yeah, was better than the first photo. The first photo what, yeah, was not so interesting, only a yeah, small branch of tree. And so I hope you like this video and you like the photo. If you like it and yeah, if you want to see other videos in the future, please subscribe and see you next week. Bye.